Um, ex excuse me, Ravanov. Feel free to send me a pack in, but I've noticed you're not rattled by anything going on here. Also, people have been saying Green didn't have a choice in bringing you on board. My expertise came at a high price. Being here, it is my duty. You all have our instructions. Hmm. I got history with this kind of thing, too. The place I grew up, it was a town by the name of Liberty. Oh my God. You were there. But you were there so young. How did you possibly oh, Hold up. You know about what happened? Every pencil neck I've ever spoken to said those files were sealed. People. They tell me things. I know it was tragedy. <laughs> well, shit. I've kept my mouth shut, worked my ass off in the service, and convinced the powers that be to assign me to Deadbolt just to find out that you're the one with the answers? Perhaps. I can't help. When you have time, record uh, what you remember. I can do my best to connect the dots for you. To separate fact from fiction. You do that? I promise. Deal. Now, that means you can't go dying on me. <laughs> I am good at keeping promises. Ravanov! I know you told me to record this when I had time. Well, I'm making time. If you can fill in the gaps, I might be able to make peace with what happened. Right. Outbreak day. First thing I did that day was wake up and go to school. It was 91, so I must have been in kindergarten. No, wait. <laughs> First grade. Sometime after recess, there was a fire drill. When everyone filed out onto the playground, we found our parents waiting for us. I was so excited to see Mom and Dad. It, I, I didn't notice how scared they looked. I, I, I thought they'd planned something special, like we we're going to go to the bowling alley or something. Before I knew what was happening, Mom grabbed me by the wrist and ran. I, I mean, I had no idea where we were going. <sighs> now that I think about it, she probably didn't either. Dad had his hunting rifle with him. He was just ahead of us, but I kept losing sight of him because he was always ducking around corners. Mom still had her hand wrapped around my wrist, telling me to pick up my feet or I get left behind. Our little town must have been in chaos, but I didn't notice any of that. All I could do was focus on staying upright. I, I tried to keep up. I really did. But my legs were too short and we were running so fast. I cried, begging Mom to slow down. But she just tightened her grip and kept her eyes straight ahead, saying over and over, Pick up your feet, baby girl, or you're gonna get left behind. I tried to get Dad's attention get him to tell her to stop, but he bolted down the alleyway by Ollie's comics. That's when I heard a loud crash, something growled, Dad started screaming. And then, then the rifle went off. Mom just kept running. <clears throat> I think that's enough for today.